Hi everyone, today's video is about binomial expansion in algebra and how it uses Pascal's triangle. We are going to look at the patterns in Pascal's triangle and how it connects with binomials. So first, what is binomial expansion? It is the process of converting an expression from factored form to expanded form. Let's start with a simple example, x plus y in parentheses squared. Most people use the FOIL method to expand it, which is multiplying the first, outer, inner, and last terms and adding them together to get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. We can apply the same method to x plus y cubed, but it would be a lot more work. As you can see, the calculation is quite complicated. Now suppose you were asked to expand x plus y to the sixth power. How would you do it? Using the FOIL method would take too long, and it is easy to make a mistake in the process. So here is a useful shortcut, the concept of Pascal's triangle. This is an array of numbers arranged in the shape of a triangle and has a specific and interesting pattern. The numbers in each row are the sums of the two numbers directly above it. The triangle goes on to infinity. So how does this relate to binomials? The pattern is that each row corresponds to a binomial power, with x plus y to the power of 1 corresponding to row 2, x plus y squared corresponding to row 3, and so on. The numbers in each row are the coefficients of the corresponding binomial's expanded form. If we use x plus y cubed as an example, you can see that the coefficients of the terms are 1, 3, 3, and 1, which match the numbers in the fourth row of Pascal's triangle. Finally, the last part you need to know in order to write out the entire expanded version of any binomial x plus y is that the powers of x decrease with each term until 0, and the powers of y increase with each term starting from 0. Okay, now we are ready to return to x plus y to the 6. The first step is to find the corresponding row in Pascal's triangle. Since the binomial power is 6, we need to find row 7 in the triangle. Next, we can write down the powers of x and y. Then write the expression in the expanded form, and keep in mind to order the terms from greatest to least degree of x. By the way, degree is another name for the exponent of a variable. Lastly, here is our result. It may look long and complex, but this is the simplest form because there are no similar terms to combine. Also, if you are wondering how to do this with x minus y to any power, it is the same process as x plus y, except the final expression alternates between plus and minus, with the first term being positive. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you guys learned something and thanks for watching. Remember to stay curious about the interesting patterns triangles can bring.